Exactly. There's a new scam going around and it targets people looking for a job. If you take the bait, you could be charged with a federal offense. News 5's Ashley Knight investigates in this latest Scam Busters report. The reshipper scam is another ploy by scammers to bait people looking for jobs. And these people think they're working a legitimate at-home job and a lot of times it's students, it's, you know, single mothers. These people receive stolen items and ship them off to the scammers or another reshipper. It's a common tactic used by con artists. They're ghosts basically and they want to remain ghosts otherwise people can find them and arrest them. So what they do is they put layers of people in between them so that when the stolen merchandise is discovered it comes back to this girl here in Mobile County. Ashley Howell answered an email to be a package shipper, but she had no idea what she was getting into. So I got an email to my personal email address talking about if I would like to work for a company affiliated with the United States Postal Service. They weren't asking for my social security number. That's why I thought, okay, this might be legitimate. It all started when the Mobile County Sheriff's Office got a call from a North Alabama man saying his credit card number had been stolen and used on QVC. QVC had told the man that the item purchased by his card was being shipped here to Mobile County. And that's how Detective Laura Soulier found Ashley. I said, why are you getting these packages? And she said, well, I'm, it's my job. When she told me that it was stolen property that I was receiving, that they had registered in my name, by somebody's stolen uh, bank account cards, I was shocked. I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? Howell also got an email from these same people wanting to promote her to transfer money. If she had accepted that job, she would have been charged with money laundering, which is a federal offense. In Mobile, Ashley Knight, News 5. Luckily, Detective Soulier caught Ashley before she sent anything off. A word of advice from detectives. If you're contacted through email by a business you didn't apply to, immediately hit that delete button. And remember, if there's a scam you'd like for our team to look into, send an email to News5Investigates at WKRG.com.